Mbalula, a sellout of note, always ready to destroy his own in defense of white supremacists. Mbalula agrees to put his signature on that agreement, which is a sold out agreement, sell out agreement. The historical account will be that Mbalula is the one who signed off our country back into the hands of white people. Ordinarily, such an agreement should be signed by a president. But Ramaphosa made a calculated move that I'm not going to go into this historic document, which is a sellout position. It's not shocking coming from Freedom Front, because Freedom Front is a direct product of apartheid. They are the direct beneficiaries of apartheid. They are the designers of Swar Khafar. Because Freedom Front will say to people, if black people take over, they are going to kill white people. That's what they used to advocate for. So they, they are good with a lie. I told the ANC when I met with them, Panyaza and, the, and the, some of the leadership of the ANC, I said, every day when you wake up, put it in your mind that you have lost power. Because you still want to operate like you've got power. They are even prepared to sleep with a strategic enemy. It was Mandela at court. Doctor has been talking to the DA and has been flirting with the DA. That's why I told you. There's nothing we can do about that. Um, when the ANC province has lost control of its own regions, uh, uh, it shows that the ANC is in serious crisis in a self-destruction mode where regions of the ANC report national to Mbalula where Mbalula undermines the ANC province and communicate directly uh, with the regions and meet them somewhere there in some hotel in, in um, um, that suburb next to in Santin uh, and then plot uh, the downfall of the provincial leadership of the ANC is their own internal problem. And uh, factionalists like Dr. who are challenged politically, ideologically, and otherwise, when they see such a vacuum, they will not waste time to grab such an opportunity and, uh, and uh, emerge. Who would have thought Dr. can work against Panyaza? Because Dr. and Panyaza were inseparable. But those are politics. There's nothing you can do about it. Doctor is engaged in open defiance of Panyaza's leadership and to an extent engaged in a, a, a caucuses that seeks to remove Panyaza and all of that. So because of that relationship we have with the ANC in Ikuruleni and everywhere else and national to, to a particular extent, um, uh, we can't through our toys. We are in a coalition. We have not won any power. In the coalition, you negotiate every day for the next five years. Every day. Today you are in, tomorrow you are out. Did you see how mayors get changed here? You wake up today, there's a new mayor, you can't even pronounce the name. As you are still practicing the name and mastering it, the guy is gone. <laughs> Huh? That one of Jobeg. What? Guamanda. 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 When we grab the name, gone. And then what? It's coalitions by their own nature. They are unstable. Especially if they find people who are not matured to know that no one has won power. Because I told the ANC when I met with them, Panyaza and, uh, and uh, some of the leadership of the ANC, I said, every day in the province, in the municipalities, every day when you wake up, put it in your mind that you have lost power. Because you still want to operate like you've got power. And in the desperation to hang into power, they are even prepared to sleep with a strategic enemy. So, this, this is just power mongering. There is no principle at all.
Uh, and it's a lie that if you insource the banks lose confidence in you, why didn't they lose confidence in Mashaba when he insourced here in Johannesburg? Why didn't they lose confidence in us when we passed the resolution in Iguru Lane that we are going to insource? There must be an investigation on how we can go about it. Iguru Lane never lost any support of the banks. Again, Swart Khafar. And it's not shocking coming from Freedom Front. Because Freedom Front is a direct product of apartheid. They are the direct beneficiaries of apartheid. They are the designers of Swart Khafar. Because Freedom Front will say to people, if black people take over, they are going to kill white people. That's what they used to advocate for. So they, they are good with a lie. And we're not shocked they're saying the thing. There is no any motion, any insourcing that is going to drive away the banks. That's why we're talking about the establishment of state banks. State banks, so that when the commercial ones threaten to walk out, the state bank must walk in. Because we're not going to be dictated to by capitalist uh, white-owned banks in South Africa. We must refuse that. Uh, we, we support the ANC leadership in Houting. And we don't do that in exchange for positions. The ANC national has made it very clear to them. You can go anywhere except the EFF. And they said, okay, we can go anywhere except EFF or MK. That's fine. But we're not going to DA. We're choosing to stay out with other small parties out of that GNU arrangement. That is a fair thing. When I met President Ramaphosa, I proposed that. I said, if you have a problem with going with the EFF, please don't go with the DA. Go alone and constitute a minority government. Exactly what Houghton did, but they did it after. Uh, it was before even Houghton did it. I said to President Ramaphosa, you've got 40 percent. Mapantiti have got this percent. This one has got that percent. You put together those percentages. You are still at the right position to can make decisions because we will not support the DA in parliament. Even when we are in disagreement with you, we will not vote with the DA. We will rather abstain. And if we abstain, you make it through in parliament. So Ramaphosa didn't need the DA at all. But he decided to go uh, uh, with the DA. So at the center of this, I don't understand what Mbalula ate from who. Because the guy has changed. No one, the people who grew up with him, not a single person can identify the Mbalula who, who's speaking today. Who's addressing us every week like a presenter of Palapala FM, he's always pete, 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 <laughs> saying a lot of nothing. Every week, there's a week where he addressed us the whole week. The whole week. So, why is Mbalula defending GNU even more than the person who came with the GNU, Ramaphosa? I mean, Ramaphosa is very reasonable about it. Mbalula is not reasonable about it. You speak against it, you will get a letter. What are you saying? When you arrive there, Ramaphosa says, hey, what are you doing here? Say, no, I'm cold here. Say, there's no explanation. No, you are a list man. I don't understand what this guy is talking about. He's more genuine, more than the person who came. The person who came with this thing is Ramaphosa. Mbalula is the main man to date. He has overtaken the founder of the GNU. I'm very scared of that gem. It has changed the man. The man has changed completely. A sellout of notes. Always ready to destroy his own in defense of white supremacists. To an extent that Mbalula agrees to put his signature on that agreement, which is a sold-out agreement, sell-out agreement. The historical account will be that 
Mbalula is the one who signed off our country back into the hands of white people. Ordinarily, such an agreement should be signed by a president. But Ramaphosa made a calculated move that I'm not going to go into this historic document, which is a sellout position. It was Mandela at Codesta who took the leg toe for toe. It was not Secretary General. It was Mandela and the leg like this. Today, when this is a complete sellout, they say, no, save the president, let this one come. Metriculous, let him come and sign what he doesn't know. And then Helen reminds him every day, but Mbalula, read. The problem is that you don't read. That is not what the agreement says. He's relying on verbal utterances. He has never read the thing. But he signed it.